Hi there, Louisa here from allaboutstamping.co.uk and welcome to the third or fourth uh, birthday celebrations, I can't remember, new series for um, July, two projects a week for the whole of July um, and it's this birthday themed um, project. So today I've got a gorgeous big um, milk carton style box gorgeous big box and although it doesn't actually have happy birthday on it um enjoy your special day i thought that was appropriate and it is actually well it won't because it's tied with ribbon it's actually um a fold flat style milk carton which um has been floating around in my head for a bit um, I'm sure I can't be the first person to come up with it. Um, but yes, so I thought I've got to give it a try. And I wanted a big box, um, and this actually uses um, a piece of 12 by 12 um, cardstock. Um, and the new in colours. So this one is. Um, terracotta tile and the one I'm going to do um, next is seaside spray and it's using all the ribbon um, and it folds flat so store it like that um, get all the decoration on and then when you need it you can pop it back together so yeah I thought it was kind of neat I'm sure I'm not the first person to come up with this idea um, but I thought hmm give it a go and it is a huge box which I like I like a big box so 12 by 12 um, in Imperial if you are metric um, take it down to 30 by 30 and I've lost my scoring tool oh, I haven't it's hidden under my <laughs> ruler <laughs> um, so you are going to score it at 4 and a quarter five and three quarters ten and eleven and a half and I'm running off the end but you probably can't see um, and a metric, um, that's ten and a half centimetres, fourteen and a half, twenty-five, twenty-nine. And I forgot to say, all the measurements, there'll be a direct link to the project in the description, all the measurements will be on the blog, so you don't have to go mad and try and write, write everything down. Oops, sorry, I've got a noisy phone. I should have turned it off. So I've turned that round now. And we are going to score it at half. So this bit is your bottom flap. So that's a, you've just scored um, this bit here. So half, two, and nine. Which in metric is one, five, and twenty-two, and then you're going to turn it over, flip it over, and score it at. Ooh, you are. Score it at uh, eleven and a quarter. So now I think I need to get our scoring board eleven and a quarter, which is twenty-nine. Then make sure you get that right to so your tab is that side now because you're going to do a little part score to the first score line and that's going to come at five. So just to your first score and ten and three quarters. And for metric, that is twelve and a half and twenty seven. Okay, so get rid of that. You don't need that anymore. And we're going to do a bit of 
diagonal scoring. So you're going to score from there down to there and from there to there and then from that point to where they meet and that point to where they meet. So and you're scoring, um, you're scoring this bit here and because it's cardstock and because it's lovely quality cardstock that Stamping Up has, it does need that little bit of help. You might, with cheaper or lower quality, you might get away with not doing this, but with our lovely card socket, it will definitely buckle. So, oh, I just thought I must try this in DSP. That'd be nice as well. Okie dokie do So, and then we're going to burn it, fold, burnish and fold. No, fold and burnish. Um, don't worry about the diagonals just for now. Because um, they will go in when you seal up the box. Fold and burnish that. And the top bit where you've got the diagonal, you'll fold that the normal way. And this score line at the top, you'll fold that that way, and that's just that bit up there, just so it folds the right way. So it went buckle and look all horrible. You don't want a horrible looking box. So yeah, I had great fun designing this box. <laughs> and my grid paper, oh, it's moving. So it's not very much of a pack. My grid paper, I use that for designing boxes. Because I'm very, very visual, so I literally mark it off. I'm like, right, I've got 11 and a half, because obviously I wanted a tab, and then work out the boxes, and I use um, my grid paper that way. For Imperial, anyway, metric, you know, it's never going to be exactly the same, because otherwise you'd be scoring it like... 10.9 or something ridiculous whereas I'm sure people don't want to be doing that <laughs> so fold your box around and the one that's going to be your front is going to be the flap so you want to keep um, so you want to get rid of sorry the one that is furthest away from that tab so if I flip it over I can mark what you're getting rid of um, we could have oh, no idea what pen that is. A rubbish one, apparently. So you're getting it because it's not stamping up. So you're getting rid of that there, and then that little tab over here. And that is going to annoy me. Let me get a proper. Uh, let me get a decent pen. <laughs> and then you're going to wedge ever so slightly into that one and cut a bit off and wedge into that cut that off and actually you're going to wedge that way and then you're going to cut this bit off so hopefully you can see that oh, it's so big it doesn't all fit in <laughs> we'll go for the bottom bit so you're going to get rid of this one which is the furthest away from that little tab um, and then you're going to notch in these cut straight down that tri uh, that's rectangle and notch into the square. So big scissors, which over here. So big scissors. So I'm gonna do a little notch there. I don't want to do a huge notch because if you do it too big, the flap won't stay in. And I'm cutting my score line away. So can you see where that knobbly bit is? <clears throat> and then I'm going to cut straight up here and notch into that. And then a tiny little wedge. So there's actually not that much cutting to do on this. And that is the wedge I'm talking about. 
but that's probably a bit too much. But and then I'm gonna oh don't do that. <laughs> Taking that off a bit, and I've cut into that. Never mind. Hey who? So I have to say I love a box, a big box that uses up 12 by 12 because I think sometimes we forget we've got 12 by 12 um, and we do have it in all our colours, yay! So all our core colours and um, all our ink, well all our colours including ink colours. So you've got to love that. So that's what you're left with. Ooh, okay, so DSP. Love DSP. So we've got one for the front. I wonder if I should do it that way. No, I like that. So you've got two for the front panels, which measure uh, six and three quarters by four or 16.5 by 10 in metrics, we've got two of them and they're going to sit here um, and then you've got two skinny panels for here which measure six and three quarters by one and a quarter which is in metric 16.5 by 3.5 um, but all the measurements will be on the um, blog and then you've got these two pieces which are going to sit here and they measure uh, four by or two by four or five and a half by ten in metric. And if you're really clever, you can make sure you go along all the way. But I'm not, so there we go. <laughs> I'm not that clever. Oh, I didn't think. Let's put it that way. Right, snail. So we're going to snail all these up. Hopefully without sticking myself to them. And then we've got a bit of die cutting, a bit of stamping. And apparently snail that's given me grief. And the DSP I'm using is the gorgeous woven threads which I love because I just love it anyway it reminds me of all um, fabric um, has got all the DS all the new ink colours in it so that's pretty cool and I love the ink colours I love them all. I wasn't mad keen on um, the in colours that have retired, if I'm going to be honest. So, <laughs> I'm going to be standing like that now, aren't I? I think I've created a slight problem here, haven't I? <sighs> I shouldn't have done all of that together. Right. So skinny panels on and they just fit in there. Gorgeous and I'll probably just off camera but I will hover in a minute. So <laughs> put those on there and then um I'm not actually sure whether this has a direction. Can you see that kind of looks like old fabric? Or um or kind of cart like Persian carpets. To me, anyway. Not that I'm a Persian carpet expert or fabric expert for that matter. Either, because I'm not paper expert maybe and a stamping expert although I might leave that up to you so all my panels on 
adhesive along this strip. So I'm using contraband. Oh, I miss our fast fuse. I know it used to be temperamental. I'm just going to fold that up and it will meet. I know it used to be temperamental. But I liked it. Oh, I didn't round the corner. You can round the corners with our detailed trio punch. Although I didn't actually on the other one. Oh, and I didn't cut that bit off. <laughs> You're probably all screaming at the screen. You didn't trim that bit off. You can round the corners. I actually didn't on the other one. And I found it went in okay. Um, she says she can't get that one in. Um, but yeah, probably a good idea. So, back and I nearly took the camera out then. You're not very far from the <laughs> from the lens. So, push in. And you get that lovely shape. And Possibly should have been a bit more glue. You can fix that with a mini glue dot though. I will for the camera. For the photos. Right. Uh, hole punch. Large hole punch that's clogged up. Punch a couple of holes. And then we're going to thread some ribbon. And it's a new in colour ribbon. Oh, that's not gone in very smooth. I think the um, seaside spray, I don't know whether it's the dye they use because our cardstock is um, coloured all the way through, but to me seaside spray seems quite a lot thicker than our other cardstock. Um, they're all the same. I'm guessing it's something to do with the dye or the processing. So, Seaside Spray in colour. Gotta love that. I love it. I'm gonna get a pointy edge so that I can... because I want to use that as a needle. And I want the right side. So I'm going front to back Pull that through, and then I'm going to go back to front. And then you've got enough to tie off. I find this ribbon much better just doing a square knot than trying to do a bow. Um, but that's just me. I think it's because it's quite a stiff ribbon and um, I don't mean that in a bad way um, but yeah I it's quite a stiff ribbon and I just I mean you know what I'm like I can't tie a flipping bow at the best of times <laughs> a square knot it is and I think it looks lovely just as a square knot and that is the most ugly square knot in the world but oh. Never mind. I'm not faffing with that now. You'd be glad to know. But you were all going, ah, oh, when I got the ribbon out. <laughs> Thank you, no. So, spare bit of whisper white. I'm going to have to get this off. Um, and I am using Oh, I've lost my stamp. Oh, it's here. <laughs> I'm using the stitched all around and I'm using that one up there. Because I love it. And I did have some seaside spray ink. Oh, it's hiding. It's hiding. You'll also need a scrap of seaside spray cardstock too. And 
the uh, oops, gonna die cut this out with the new lovely um, stitch nestle dies. Love them. Oh, hey. I think they're one of my favourites from the catalogue. I'm not even a massive die cutter. But somehow I just adore them. So I've got oop, cut two sizes here. Oh my gosh, I can't pick that up. Um I can't think what size they are, but just measure it up on whatever you cutting out. A bit of that off. And the die cutting machine. And I have got my magnetic. Ooh! And I'm going to shut the box on the floor. I've got my magnetic platform. Love that magnetic platform. I think it is the best thing in the world. In fact, it's permanently on the die cutting machine. I think it's that useful. So the smaller of the two, pop that round there and I'm just lining it up so that it's straight and then I've got the next size up and that's on whatever I said that was. What did I say that was? Seaside spray. So I'm going to cut those out. And these dies, because um, they've got so many details and so many holes, um, sometimes they are a bit difficult to get out. So let's make sure it's cut out. Yep, looking good to me. Grid paper, why don't I? <laughs> See, how gorgeous is that? Oh, love it. Um, and one of these, and it seems to be this one. Do you just have to be careful? Um, because it's so detailed, although there's little dots, it gets stuck occasionally. Stamping dimensions. Love these things, they are the best thing in the world. I do, I always have to have a ready supply of stamping dimensions. Always. So you're going to stack this up here, and you've got a bigger border from point to point than you do up and down, so to speak. But it still looks pretty, and I think I cut that a bit wonky. And then some dimensions on the back. Oh, and apparently a whole bunch. And then that is going to go on the front of this gorgeous box. Love it. I love seaside spray. <laughs> 